I broke down. I bought a lens baby. I found it on Facebook Marketplace for about 350 bucks, regular 600 Canadian on the website. It's a Velvet 5.6, Velvet 56 millimeter F1.6. It's fully manual. So how do you use it? It's fully manual, you put it on your camera. This is a trick that I found. So to actually get it in focus, what you need to do is you need to up the aperture, usually f8, 5.6, focus, and then crank the aperture down to 1.6 and take your picture. Now a lot of times what I would do is I would take a picture at f8, crank it down to 1.6, take another picture, and I would put them together in Photoshop. I always, I prefer at least some part of the image to have a focal point. So a lot of times if you've watched the video before this and all the pictures that I showed, you're gonna find at least some portion of that picture is in focus. So that's how I like to do it. Now, you don't have to spend $350 on one of these because if you own a macro lens, you can do the same thing. Not the same way, you're not gonna get the creamy look. You're gonna to have to put it in Photoshop, you're gonna to have to run an Orton effect and a little bit of blur. So that's another way you can get the same effect. And it's very close. And one of the images that I showed you was done that way. Now, I haven't tried this. I should. One of these days I actually will. If you have a UV filter sitting around doing nothing, and you don't mind only using it for this style of photography, I would get some Vaseline and you can smear Vaseline on it and then you can go, excuse me, and take some pictures of the flowers. I've heard of this, I haven't tried it. I am gonna try it. <laughs> so keep an eye on this blog post because I'll update you with the, on the blog post when I do that and I'll add the pictures in. So let's get into Lightroom and Photoshop. And so here we are in Lightroom. And these are the two photos I took with the lens baby. So let's grab these two and I'm going to edit them in Adobe Photoshop, but I'm gonna open them as layers in Photoshop. Now, once we get them into Photoshop, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of them and then I'm going to go auto align. So I want them aligned. I'm going to crop the image. Um, I want a 16 by 9. whole image in there well, then I'm just going to put a mask on my fault they did it the wrong way I just invert the mask Okay, I'm going to take a brush and I don't like the round brush. So what I can do, if you start just slowly bringing in the detail of the center of the flower, it basically works just exactly as that. So. Now there's a little bit I don't like. We zoom in. Because all I want is the um, center to be in focus. So I'll just bring this down. Paint with white. And there you go. 
So that's basically all I did for that one just to bring it into uh, focus in the center. So I thought that was pretty good. Now for the more difficult one. I'm back in Lightroom. This one was shot with my 90 millimeter macro and we're going to again edit open this to layers in Photoshop. A few minutes later all right, so I had recorded this part of the video on how to edit earlier, and I thought, hey, what about if I created an action for you guys, and then you could duplicate this uh, anytime you wanted. So I've actually done that, but let's go through how I process this image first off. So again, same thing. Select both images and go to auto align and the auto aligned I'm gonna go crop the image I'm gonna do a 5 by 7 again so I did crop it a 5 by 7 so then I applied a layer mask got my brush tool B for brush zoomed in now here's something I did a little different I then created the brush changed it from a circle to oblong I'm painting on the mask and I'm just bringing in this area here to get that back in focus not totally in focus now. I have the same thing here, but I'm going to bring the brush down this way. Bring that back into focus. The control zero. Reset the brush because a lot of us forget to reset the brush. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten it. Now you can do the same thing here. Merge visible. I have a shortcut. Sorry about that. I won't do that again. So now I've got... I will take the healing brush and I'm just going to fill in the top. Oh, I don't like that. Getting pain in the ass. All right, I'll fill in the bottom. I'm doing a very good job this time. There we go. See if that'll fix that. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. Not what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to hit a Control J. There you go. So I'm going to go to image and I'm going to apply the image, leave everything at the defaults. It should go dark like this. Now I'm going to change it to screen. Glow's not there yet. Go to blur. I'm going to Gaussian blur. And I'm using about 100, 115, 110. So I kind of like the glow at this particular time. Will it go up higher? I add more of a glow, less of a glow. I think go 130. I like that glow. Now I can still control it with the fill. Now I'm going to take the mask. I'm going to hold my Alt button down and I'm going to move my mask back up. And you can see how these just come back into kind of focus again. So that's how I did it. Now what I've done, I'm going to take this, throw it away, hit a control J. I'm going to go to my actions. Here I've created an Orton effect. Just run it and you can see how the glow is there. I'm going to hit the Alt, take up the mask 
and that's back. So if you want, I'm going to leave that action in the link in the blog so you can download it. So there you go. That's how you can create a dreamy look using an Orton effect with your macro lens. So you don't have to buy a lens baby, but I kind of like the lens baby, so it's pretty close. So there's kind of one, there's kind of the other. So it's pretty close, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on uh, Who Said Photography.